the question says that in sulfur estimation 0.5 gram of an organic compound gave 0.699 gram of barium sulfate the percentage of sulfur in the compound is molecular mass of barium sulfate has been given to us it is 233 now first of all you have to understand the basic process that is involved in the estimation of sulfur now first of all i am going to discuss that process suppose we take an organic compound okay which contains sulfur okay any organic compound which contains sulfur so first of all in carrier's tube we are going to take this compound and in carrier's tube it is treated with sodium peroxide or fuming hno3 and what happens when it is heated with them the sulfur will convert to h2so4 now remember the sulfur has been converted to h2so4 now after this we are going to treat it with barium chloride and then we get barium sulfate precipitate okay so all this reaction is taking place in our carrier tube only and this barium sulfate it basically precipitate so what ha happens actually here is that the all the sulfur that was present in the organic compound finally comes out in the form of barium sulfate now if we can find out the amount of sulfur that is present in the barium sulfate then definitely we can very easily find out the amount of sulfur that was present in the organic compound okay and if we know the mass of that organic compound and then from that mass of the organic compound you know we can uh, divide that mass by the mass of sulfur which is there in this barium sulfate multiplied by 100 we can get this percentage composition now very important thing which we have to keep in mind is that trick here is that in such questions which are related to carrier tube method for the estimation you have to follow the unitary method okay now how we are going to solve this you can see here that we know that molecular mass of barium sulfate is 233 u and in this barium sulfate there is one sulfur and its mass is obviously going to be 32 u okay so we can say that 233 gram of barium sulfate has sulfur equal to 32 gram okay now in this question they have given us how much barium sulfate we have obtained okay so unitary method we have to apply so 1 gram of barium sulfate has sulfur that is equal to 32 by 233 gram okay so now this is the actual amount of sulfur which is present in 1 gram of barium sulfate but how many gram of barium sulfate we actually obtained 0.699 gram so we have to multiply this by 0.699 so 0.699 gram of barium sulfate has sulfur equal to 32 by 233 into 0.699 So this is the actual amount of sulfur that was present in this 0.5 gram of sulfur. So this is how you have to find out that mass of sulfur we have obtained. So percentage of sulfur that is equal to mass of sulfur in the organic compound by mass of mass weight mass of organic compound multiplied by 100. Okay. what will be the answer here we have mass of sulfur that is 32 into 0.699 divided by 233 now this will be multiplied with mass of you know organic compound so 0.5 multiplied by 100 and in return what you are going to obtain you will definitely on solving this now 0.699 1699 32 into 3 by 5, so that will be 19.2 percent. So this is how unitary method actually helps you to the uh, estimate the problems that are, that are related to you know uh, carrier tube method for estimation of sulfur, halogen, and even for the phosphorus. So this thing you have to keep in mind.